Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will do a Valentine's uh, weekend love reading. I guess you could call it that. That's what, that's, that's what the title will be. So it's just a regular love reading. So for any of you who are in, in the time of questioning or you just want to know more about a situation, and you want answers so here you are and that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get some answers for you all right so let's take a look let's see what's going on for this Valentine's weekend just had the full moon in Leo I don't know what's going on I can't shuffle my cards this morning <laughs> oh my gosh hold on I don't know if this is me or what is going on? Okay. <clears throat> it is quite early. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'm heading out. Just thought I'd record this one. <laughs> um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, um, please see all the information is down in the description box. You'll have to email me for that. And thanks for subscribing to my channel. And please consider it if you haven't already done so. And thank you for liking and sharing as well. <clears throat> it helps the channel. So thank you. Messages for the collective on this Valentine's Day or weekend. There's no time basically timeless timeless valentines <laughs> okay messages please <clears throat> we've got the knight of wands hello hello mister okay let's see what is up with that we've got justice Somebody's wanting to come and talk to you. Communicate, magician. This person feels like they're ready now. This person feels like they have <clears throat> pretty much everything that they need now to come forward and communicate with you. So everything that you've been waiting for here, it's coming in. We've got fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. We also have Libra. So this person has a lot of passion for you. Um, this person is more mature than they were before, okay? So they're in this night energy and they're very fiery, very excited, and they do have a lot of feelings for you, you know? They have a lot of feelings for you and um, Things are going to balance out now, okay? You're going to get the um, the answers that you you're going to get the answers that you seek. Basically, this person feels ready to come and speak with you. So after waiting for all this time, this communication should be coming in. I know you're asking when. I don't know when. I don't know when. But it's coming. I'm telling you, it's there. Look, it's there. It's coming in. You have to have faith. You have to have faith in divine timing. It surely will not happen in the time that you think, obviously. It's very rare that things ever do. <clears throat> More messages, please, for the collective. We've got the higher font. So this is divinely guided. This connection is divinely guided. It is on the point of balancing out. It's going to be very, you're going to be very happy with this. 
uh, communication that's coming through. It's something that you've been waiting for for quite some time now. Um, we've got, that's it, Ace of Swords, truth, truth coming. You're going to find out some things <clears throat> that you might have wanted. You felt like you there was something that you didn't know. And you're going to get that clarity uh, to be able to move forward. Uh, not necessarily in this connection, but to move forward. Um, here we have the Three of Swords. So this it did... Um, this situation did hurt you. It hurt you. Um, it's something that... that you didn't expect, okay? It's something that you didn't expect. Um, but this truth that's coming through will help alleviate a bit of that pain that you had in this situation. So it will explain things. So that's what I'm getting. This truth that's coming through will explain things. And then we have, so we have the three of wands and the three of swords um, aligned here, um, which to me tells me that you're done waiting. You know, you're done waiting. You won't have to wait any longer. And this, some of you had like this ache, you know, aching feeling or longing or yearning to know, to find out, to know something. You felt stuck here. And so this will bring you some clarity. This should bring you some clarity. We also have, we have a lot of threes, you guys. Three, three, three. Three of cups, three of swords, and three of wands. Um, Lots of threes, lots of uh, building of momentum and getting out of um, some more negative energy, going towards more positive. <clears throat> Chariot, moving quickly. Quick movement, quick communication. So we've got cancer energy. Knight of Cups, somebody is wanting to communicate with you, wanting to share their feelings. It's an offer, it's a gesture. It's a gesture of emotion, you know. We've got the Knight of Swords, someone wanting to communicate really quickly, wanting to move quickly. You want the truth, the truth will be said to you quite Quickly, and we've got the two of pentacles. So this person is just trying to figure out how to come forward still. They're trying to balance out. They're trying to find out the best way so that they're not creating any kind of conflict. Okay. Um, but this person is moving forward, is really wanting to. This person knows now. They know for sure what they want. They know. There is no doubt. The only thing is the best way to do this. How, after all this time, do I do this? How do I bring this back? This is what I'm getting. How do I bring this back in the best way so that there is no conflict, you know? That's what this person is thinking. Could be you as well. Yeah. I'll use my mystic moon. Oh, not now. One second. I'm going to use my good tarot deck first. Go. Oh. So, you guys, any plans for Valentine's Day? <laughs> I hope you guys have a very... Um, beautiful. I don't know. I guess I want you to feel love that day, you know. However, self-love, you know. Taking care of yourself. Have a date night with yourself if you're, if you don't have plans, you know. All right. More messages, please.
We've got the seven of earth. Okay. Three of cups, again. Three of water, three of cups. Wow. We've got the three of wands again. All right, so you guys, what, you know, I'm, some of you, and the eight of wands, okay. So some of you here had, I would say in the recent past maybe, had been thinking, gosh, I went through all this crap. I went through all this suffering, all this crap. And, sorry, I'm using the word crap. It's just the word that's coming to me. Um, I'm, I'm going through all this, and I've invested, and I've, I believe I did have some kind of impact here, but um, turns out I don't. And, you know, some of you might have been really feeling disillusioned, like disappointed in nothing really panning out in this situation. But... You're wrong. <laughs> Something, seeds were sown, things, you know, things grow, you know, even if you don't see it. It's like, it's like plant, it's planting a seed, you know, you know, it's not like you, you, you don't see it as it's growing, you know, but <clears throat> after a certain time, um, you turn around and it's there, you know. So communication is definitely, definitely coming through for you. Fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. I'm getting water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, it's happening. It's going to happen. You might get some earth sign energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus as well. But really, this is happening, you guys. It's happening. It's going to happen. Not everybody all at the same time, obviously. And it is for a collective, so it may not resonate with you today. Might resonate with you another day, but more messages, please. I will now use my Mystic Moon Oracles deck. Wow. Anyway, it's been like that for quite a few readings now that something new, something is coming through for you. There is love coming in February for most of the collective. More messages, please. Is that? I've got two cards here. Three. I'm not going to take them. Sorry, that's just me being clumsy. Usually I feel it anyway when they jump out. It's just not quite. More messages, please. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. We've got recognition. This person recognizes the connection. We've got settling. Let's see. Free will. And we've got unawakened. Well, what I'm getting here is that this person does recognize the connection, okay? It doesn't mean that because they have feelings or because they do feel this connection that they are really ready to settle down with you. It doesn't necessarily mean that. Um, they might communicate some truths to you and then again, free will comes into play here. Okay, so there is an opportunity for communication. Um, I don't know why we have this unawakened card. So maybe this person still has some work to do. Okay, um, this person may not 
for some of you be awakened to this connection or this person might just realize that they are now they know what's going on now but they were unawakened so I'm going to just pull out one card for this unawakened card just to clarify I just want to clarify the unawakened card please Someone feels stuck. Okay, so, oh, so that's it. So, <clears throat> okay, so this person um, may be keeping themselves stuck here, okay? This person does not necessarily want to settle down right away because settling down will, um, is daunting and scary because to them, it means a lot of change, maybe too much change all at the same time. And this could be very difficult for this person if they've been stuck for a long time in this state of unawakened consciousness, okay? If they had been stuck for a long time, not really realizing what it was, what their lives were about, or that they were keeping themselves stuck. Now this person may be realizing that they have everything that they need to move forward. They don't need to keep themselves stuck. They realize they have free will over the situation. They have free will, you know? They have free will over what happens, over the outcome. They don't have to believe what they've always believed. Like, for example, if this person believed, oh, I'll always be this way, or I'll always be that way. And everything is dialogue. It's what you tell yourself anyway, right? So the mind is so powerful, so, so powerful. I've learned it. I'm learning it now so much. The damage that your mind, if you let it, what it can do to you your mind, what you can make it believe. All right, I'm gonna pull out three oracle cards. We've got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this person might be into the, they're healing right now from this unawakened state of being that they probably have been in for a good part of their lives here. So it's about healing that and it probably stems from their Childhood where they now realizing they don't have to carry that burden anymore. They don't have to. They've carried it for a long time and this burden didn't really belong to them. You know, they just kind of built it. They, they've carried burdens that didn't even belong to them. And so it left a very heavy, stuck energy in their vibration. They were vibrating at a very, maybe not a low vibration, could be, you know, they could have instances of, of low vibrational emotions such as jealousy, anger, envy, because they feel stuck and they see most people around them not stuck. So that could be something that affects them greatly. Um, parents again so geez this person all right the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability the angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father so either you or your person are now healing you can be both of you and you're mirroring each other you're both healing from wounds of the past of your family probably just childhood trauma anything that happened not it doesn't necessarily even have to be trauma. It could just be ways of thinking that were um, instilled. Ways of thinking, you know, that were instilled in you. Shame, um, guilt. Uh, you're supposed to be here in your life now. If you're 40, you have to have this and that and all those expectations. Um, so those old ways of thinking, you know, those old ways of thinking, um, old, uh, yeah, old mentalities, you know, like, 
the woman stays at home while the man goes to work. And now it could totally be the opposite. The woman goes to work and the man stays home and takes care of the house. Why not? Right? Or it doesn't even have to be that. I mean, I'm just giving an example of the old ways of thinking that um, this person may have been stuck in that and now realizes, whoa, it doesn't necessarily have to go that way. So... That was a huge message. Page of Ariel. Reliable, clever, educated, balanced, and excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships. Wow. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So a lot of you are, might be getting also job offers or something's happening in your career. Um, right now, some of you might be focused on your work. Um, while you're healing, while this person is healing, um, it also is um, telling you to pay attention because you might get an offer. It could be an emotional offer as well, okay? So, but this is an, um, a more of like a job opportunity or some kind of money coming in for you. So that. Did I even wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day? I don't even think I wished you a happy Valentine's Day. Sorry. <laughs> it's not Valentine's yet. I'm filming it ahead of time. So anyway, um, so those are all the messages for you guys, for the collective. I hope some of it resonated with you. I'm not getting a whole lot of English views yet, so I'm hoping you guys are sharing. Um, thanks again for subscribing to my channel, liking and sharing. And um, I'll be back soon with another reading. And I want to wish you guys a very lovely Valentine's Day. Take care. Bye-bye.